the 2024 US presidential election has become a lightning rod for controversy, drawing in the UK Labour Party. Trump accuses Labour of election interference, claiming their support for Kamala Harris equates to illegal foreign contributions. This has ignited debate about foreign involvement in US elections and its impact on US-UK relations. A now-deleted LinkedIn post from a Labour official offering campaign volunteer positions in North Carolina is at the heart of the dispute. The Trump campaign argues this post is evidence of Labour's direct involvement, violating US election law. This incident fuels Trump's narrative of a rigged election. Trump's accusation hinges on a now-deleted LinkedIn post. The Trump campaign claims it shows Labour's effort to influence the US election. Labour denies this, stating members act as private citizens. Keir Starmer calls Trump's claims baseless distractions. Labour frames their involvement as solidarity with shared values. The implications of this controversy extend far beyond campaign rhetoric, potentially impacting the historically close relationship between the US and the UK. The special relationship, a cornerstone of both countries' foreign policies for decades, is now facing a new stress test. Should Trump secure a second term, his administration, with its America First agenda, might view this incident as a betrayal by a close ally. This could lead to a cooling of relations, impacting collaboration on trade, security and diplomacy. The timing of this controversy is particularly sensitive, coinciding with the UK's post-Brexit negotiations for a trade deal with the US. Even if Biden emerges victorious, the damage may already be done. Trust, once eroded, is difficult to rebuild. The accusations levied against Labour could linger, fostering suspicion and impacting future cooperation on matters of mutual interest. The issue of foreign involvement in US elections is not new, and this latest controversy must be viewed within a broader historical context. The US has long grappled with concerns about foreign governments and actors attempting to influence its democratic processes. From the Cold War era, with its fears of communist infiltration, to the digital age, where misinformation campaigns run rampant online, the methods may have evolved, but the underlying concerns remain. The 2016 US election with its confirmed Russian interference, brought this issue to the forefront, exposing vulnerabilities in the US electoral system and sowing deep divisions within American society. This incident also raises questions about the role of social media in amplifying misinformation and disinformation. The now-deleted LinkedIn post, despite its ephemeral nature, was widely shared online fueling speculation and contributing to the rapid escalation of the controversy. Section 5. Legal Quandary. Navigating the complexities of election law. At the heart of this controversy lies a complex legal question. Does the involvement of individual Labour Party members in the US election constitute a violation of US election law? The answer is far from clear-cut, requiring careful consideration of the nuances of both US and UK law. US law prohibits foreign governments from making contributions to US campaigns, but it allows individuals, regardless of their nationality, to volunteer their time and resources. However, the line between permissible individual action and coordinated foreign interference can be blurry, requiring careful examination of the specific circumstances. The Federal Election Commission, or FEC, will ultimately decide whether the Labour volunteers' activities constituted illegal foreign contributions 
or fell within the bounds of permissible individual political expression. This case highlights the need for greater clarity in US election law, particularly as globalization continues to blur the lines between domestic and international political participation. Section 6. A divided nation reacts, backlash and support from US political factions. Predictably, the allegations against Labour have been met with a divided response in the US, falling largely along partisan lines. Democrats have largely condemned Trump's accusations, viewing them as another attempt to deflect attention from his administration's shortcomings and sow doubt about the legitimacy of the election. Republicans, on the other hand, have largely echoed Trump's concerns, expressing outrage at what they perceive as foreign interference in US democracy. However, some within the Republican Party have expressed reservations about the potential damage to the US-UK relationship, a long-standing alliance that transcends partisan politics. This controversy has further inflamed existing partisan tensions within the US, highlighting the deep divisions that continue to plague American society. It underscores the challenges of addressing foreign election interference in a hyper-partisan environment where accusations are often weaponized for political gain. Section 7. Unmasking the motive, Trump's timing and political strategy. The timing of Trump's accusations against Labour mere weeks before the US election raises questions about his motives. Critics argue that this is a calculated move designed to distract from his administration's record and sow chaos in the final stretch of the campaign. By accusing a foreign entity of interfering in the election, Trump can further his narrative of a rigged system working against him. This strategy resonates with his base, who are already primed to believe that the deep state and foreign actors are conspiring to undermine his presidency. Moreover, by targeting Labour, a party with ties to the Democratic Party, Trump can attempt to paint Biden as beholden to foreign interests. This strategy aims to chip away at Biden's support among undecided voters, particularly those concerned about his ability to stand up for American interests on the global stage. Section 8. Labour's Defence – Justifying Involvement and Countering Criticism Faced with mounting criticism, the Labour Party has mounted a multi-pronged defence, seeking to justify their members' involvement while distancing themselves from accusations of orchestrated interference. Labour has emphasised that their members are free to engage in political activities abroad as private citizens, and that any involvement in the US election is not endorsed or coordinated by the party. They argue that individual citizens have the right to express their political beliefs and support causes they believe in, regardless of their nationality. Furthermore, Labour has sought to reframe their involvement as an act of solidarity with the Democratic Party, highlighting shared values and goals. They argue that a victory for Biden and Harris represents a win for progressive values globally, aligning their members' actions with a broader fight for social justice and equality. Section 9. The Road Ahead Implications for US-UK Relations and Democratic Principles The fallout from this controversy is likely to be felt for years to come, impacting both US-UK relations and the integrity of democratic processes. The US and UK, bound by shared history, values and interests, now face a new test of their special relationship. Rebuilding trust, if eroded, will require a concerted effort from both sides. The outcome of the US election will undoubtedly play a significant role in shaping the future trajectory of this relationship. This controversy 
also highlights the increasing vulnerability of democratic processes to foreign interference in a globalized world. Safeguarding the integrity of elections requires not only robust legal frameworks, but also international cooperation, media literacy, and a shared commitment to upholding democratic principles. As we move forward, addressing these challenges will be paramount to preserving the very foundation of democratic societies.